is up everybody? Sorry, I'm gonna be doing that a lot because everything's over here, but it's rep time. And this one's gonna be kind of run and gun. I just thought it'd be fun. I have yet to, I haven't fully dove into using my board into the new D25 combo. So I thought maybe in real time, I just kind of mess around a little bit and at least uh, try and give you guys some insight as to how I would be apt to dial uh, things in. I, I don't want this video to get crazy long. Uh, I guess the main point of it is that the, the D25 is a really, really good uh, pedal platform uh, amplifier. Um, in the video before this one, I showed all the tones you could dial if you had you know, no pedals, just manipulating the amp and the guitar. In this case, I've got my own personal pedal board that I keep changing and it will be ever changing. There's things that stay on there. There's things that I change out. Uh, and we can talk about that in a second. But anyways, that's what I wanted to, you know, just kind of in real time, just try it. This could be a disaster, but you're welcome. And here's where the you're welcome uh, comes into play is um, my feet. I, I had the good grace because I care about you to actually put shoes on. I haven't trimmed them nails in a while, and man, I'm pretty sure I could climb a tree. Like there's a, you know, those cats you see on like National Geographic and stuff, you know, cougars and stuff. No, 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 I, they would have nothing on me. So you're welcome. Okay, anyways, I'm digressing. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. The sound you're hearing right now, that is my pedal board straight into the D25. Uh, the re oh yeah, the reverb you're hearing is actually from the board. That's from my uh, my big sky. I just turned that off. So for me, that's a a really good kind of start point. Won't really break up unless I you know hit it with like a hotter humbucker, right? You guys have heard me talk about that before. Now in this case, because I'm running all of my effects, uh, especially reverbs and delays to the front of the amp, I really don't want that amp to break up too much. So this is just about right. What I would add is uh, my timeline. It's about 270 something milliseconds. Uh, it's the digital reverb. Um, of course, I can get into way more kind of smart alecky digital reverb, digital delay. I can get into way more smart alecky delays and stuff. But at the end of the day, that's my start point because I can kind of darken it up. But it's not necessarily like a tape delay or you know something along those lines. It's just kind of a straight ahead works kind of thing. Always my start point. So where do I go from here? It's really, in my case, it's various stages of, of gain. So if I want to just hit the amp a little bit harder, I'll use my tilt boost, which is at the front end of this pedal board. I have it set up so that I can run things to the front of the board. I can actually route things uh, wherever I want. But in this case, I've got my tilt boost right at the front and it's set up to actually the drive switches on. So I can go from here. If I just want a little bit more. sounds pretty cool. Now you can hear right away as I hit the amp harder, delays might get a little bit hotter. That's where I would probably program this thing. So like, okay, that's a programmed sound. I'm going to turn the delay down a little bit. But in this case, uh, you know, it actually still sounds cool. Okay, so that's my little bit more. And in this case, I always just want some place to go. Uh, so the next thing for me is going to be my tilt overdrive. Not a ton of gain there, more than what was happening with the tilt boost. And 
and that would work good for uh I've got it dialed so it's a little bit more barky. There's not a ton of low end there. And the reason I'm doing that is because that'll fit better in a mix. And once again, I know I sound redundant, but I want some place to go. So now I've got options. I can add things to this. Of course, I can add the boost side. <laughs> That sounds cool, but what if I want to add uh, some uh, clipping along with boost? That's when I would go ahead and hit the tilt boost. That gives a little bit more saturation as opposed to just push and it actually feels a little cooler. So that's why I immediately kind of reverted to kind of a solo thing. So that's some place to go. The other thing I can do is I can add the Octoland, which is uh, before everything. It's after the tilt boost, but it's before everything else. So the Octoland I've got set up here. I'll just. Uh... It's a fuzz pedal, but I've got it set up right now just to add once again kind of a saturated thing but i can add that now so i can turn this back on the tilt overdrive so now i've got a little bit more low end and it and once again feels differently so for me it's like workflow it's like oh did that get me there quickly cool i'll just do that <laughs> So my next option, and, and everything does kind of to a degree revolve around my tilt overdrive, and I'm partial to that pedal because it's my pedal, so there's that. Uh, what I, the other thing I can do is I can add the light speed. The light speed, the Greer light speed is actually before the tilt. And it was actually my buddy, uh, Chris Condon, who's a killer guitar player, session cat. He turned me on to the idea of, man, run the light speed before the tilt. So I can do that. So now it's kind of bigger and more spread out. It's a different characteristic. So the way that feels, I don't necessarily want to take a solo, but if I wanted a higher gain uh, rhythm kind of crutch thing. That feels really good. And, and I need to dial this in a little better, but you kind of get the idea. Here's just the uh, the light speed, so back to just the amp. There's the light speed. Now it's not a bunch of clipping, but you hear everything just get bigger. I really like it for that. I could dial it for something else, but in this case, it's kind of the, the stacking thing, one thing into the other as opposed to diming something else. Uh, now as far as other gain pedals, we can uh, go to the uh, the LPD uh, 74, and that's the position gets changed out a bunch. That pedal, uh, it'll be there. I've had a rat pedal in there that sounds great. I've had the G2 there that sounds killer. I've had the G3 there. Right now, the 74 is kind of cool uh, because it is just so different from anything else on the board. That was the whole idea of that position. So check it out. <laughs> Kind of that barky Marshall thing. Now I do want a bunch more gain and you can hear a little bit of noise floor there, but it doesn't bother me. I, I want that to be the actual gain thing. Now, right next to it is my XTS uh, equalizer, which is modified. 
uh, if you, I'm, hopefully you can see how it's dialed. It's dialed actually pretty subtly. It's bumping like 400 hertz a bit and, and then just the level. So check out what I can do. Now it's the equalizer into the 74. <laughs> So once again, that's another kind of more setting, but because that is after, uh, say, the light speed. That's an option. Uh, my tilt boost. That sounds killer. Like that's if I was on a session right now, I'd be like, OK, that works. Um, don't need to mess with it. Or I could hit it with uh, I could hit it with the, the drive side of my tilt overdrive. It's a little bit more saturated, but I, I guess that's the whole point is you know the amp takes pedals really well. Like I don't I'm not finding myself reaching over to fix something on the amp as I'm going through my pedal board. I mean, that's just the amp by itself with some delay. It sounds great. I really like that. I mean, that's with the tilt boost. I could turn on with no clipping the boost side of my uh, uh, tilt overdrive. Once again, it's like it's all options. Uh, but just by itself, and I haven't even turned on uh, that. I've got like a simple hall reverb on the big sky. That could probably work uh, for maybe the 74 and the, uh, yeah, the tilt boost. that in better. I don't know if I like. Let me see what it sounds like. Yeah, right now it's a little too long. I would probably shorten it up a bit and probably turn the mix down. I like it better for that. That tone I was doing before, I needed to be slicker. The delay would have to be longer. The hall would have to be a little bit, uh, I don't want to say brighter, but it'd not take up so much space. So I'd have to tweak that in. But, you know, that's all kind of more programming. Uh, on a session, I would just reach down and, and change it. And that would be that. Um, you know, and then on an actual show, like if it was out with an artist, then you're obviously programming either per song. So you've got however many presets per song. But in this case, um, you know, that's like a kind of a generic hall thing uh, that, like I said, I'd have to I'd have to dial that in. This sounds OK, I think. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds okay. I would I would do something totally different if I wanted some big ethereal, you know, uh, spread out, uh, like theatrical sounding guitar thing. Uh, but in this case, as far as like a generic call, I still think it's a little too long. I'm not going to mess with them. I'm going to turn this into dialing in reverbs video. But uh, like right now, it's good because it's a little bit longer than the the delay repeats. But at the same time, it's still a little too, for me, that's a little too long. But anyways, that, that would be for uh, 
that would be for uh, another video. So let me know what you guys think of all this. Um, like I said, this is run and gun. This is me just like, hey, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this in real time and see what everything sounds like. And yeah, there's, there's tweaks I would do for sure. Uh, but I think just to give you guys an idea of how well the, uh, the D25 uh, does with pedals all the way from, uh, you know, my running like lower gain from the tilt boost or maybe a little more gain from my tilt overdrive all the way up to, you know, the 74 with other pedals hitting that. So quite a bit more saturation. Uh, it, it's, it's not going to argue with pedals. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. And as always, I really appreciate you guys uh, watching and we'll see you next time.